Okay. Uh, we are, we are going, I think. I just gotta... Let's play too. There we go, always allow. I don't know why it wasn't on there to begin with. All right. Um... All right, we are live. All right, welcome back to the channel, viewers. This is HLT Gaming, and today it's going to be me, Ryu, leading our little chip tutorial. But don't you worry, Hawkeye slash Loki is joining us today. Right, Loki? Good day, all. <laughs> all right, so at long last, we're going to do a quick little uh, chip fusion tutorial. I've got everything all set up. So first what I'm going to do is I've got to save because I'm going to kind of show you guys uh, just the basics of chips. And then kind of, you're going to get a lot of chips throughout the course of the game, and you're going to just want to sell a lot of those. So, mm -hmm, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. First and foremost, let me load up the save. That game. And this is after I'd already gone farming. Um, you know, we have our little farming video about kind of like how to go about farming, chips you want to use, and then where to find some of the chips that you might be interested to set up all of your uh, chip options. Actually, Ryu just reminded me, I need to go back and put the bookmarks in that <clears throat> video. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, unfortunately, we're going to have another load screen because I forgot to put myself. I don't want to hit that. Thank you. B2. Transport. We need to go to the resistance camp. That's uh, some good looking armor you got there. I know. It's my favorite. I really like it. I do too. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, but uh, like Ryu, I gotta feel like that you you your new favorite's gonna be when we do that DLC uh, in November. Oh yeah, I want to put on Kaine's uh, outfit. Mm -hmm. It makes yeah, me want to play it's the first Kine's outfit. Run. It's because it's super slutty. <laughs> That's why she loves it. Uh, she does so much ass kicking in that outfit, though. I mean. Okay, <laughs> so. Let's run through some oh, of the basics. Are you, you going to take, uh, for the fusing, are you going to go and see uh, the canyon bot since that's I will where go we can show, the I will level? go show where the canyon bot is. I don't have enough level 6 chips up. Uh, oh, well, maybe in we groups. will after we uh, talk to this lovely Maybe, lady. I don't know. Um, I only pretty much leveled up my chips to a certain amount because after a certain point, it's too much space and I like having more chips, so I have uh, some lower level chips. Okay, I so actually first... agree with that because I think both of my mm -hmm. HP chips, I'll have to take a look, but both of them are a certain level and they both give me 50%. I, I remember nice. um, looking at how much space, because yeah, got... I looked it up, uh, to see how much a black diamond 100% chip actually, how much space it actually takes. And it takes like one or two more spaces than the two 50% ones I'm using. Yeah, it's, it's kind of you kind of have to like juggle because you only have so much space. Um, so basically, the important things to know about chips is what the chip does, what level it is, because that's gonna up whatever the chip does by a certain percentage. Now you mm -hmm. have percentage caps, so you can only go, you can only have 100% more health with your HP chips, and you can't go past that, and the game always warns you, hey, you're putting a chip in and you're not going to get a lot of benefit of it because you've already hit your max or you're going to hit your max so maybe even a lower chip will work better so mm -hmm. I, for like a heal drops up plus six chip we have 70 percent chance of foes dropping healing items and that's quite a bit and i think that's a, something that you can have at 100 percent running is only we couldn't remember if it was 40 or 60 percent the game does let you know when when you i can actually it. check that here right now <laughs> yeah, because i've got that. a um the other important thing tips. about chips is storage space so after all what the chip is you have that center bar the storage space storage space is really important because you only have a certain amount of space even if you unlock all the storage space for your chips in your android database <clears throat> so 16 spaces is a lot of spaces and that chips actually ridiculous and <clears throat> is way too expensive so we're just gonna sell that you can get a lot of money off of selling extra chips after your little farming expeditions so like a combust plus two, 10 is too much for that. At most, for if you look in the link in the description, there is a chart and it breaks down. Chip level, your maximum storage cost that it, you should have it, like that you can have it at. 
and then regular storage costs and it gives you you know the lowest amount that it can ever be up to usually the highest amount that it that it really ever should be if you have a chip that's beyond that you should just sell it for storage costs uh diamond chips black diamond chips which is like this combust number three with the black diamond black diamonds will always be the lowest storage space for any chip if i ever get a combust plus three Seven is the lowest storage space that it can, like that the, that chip will ever be. Anything that is above that is always, um, you know, going higher. So like, normally you would find a plus three at eight. I'll never find it at seven unless it is a black diamond. So, what you want to do is after you do farming, just go ahead and sell all the ones that are just way too much. Like, I don't need that. I don't need that. You okay, here we go. The effect limit for moving speed up has been exceeded. Effect limit increase moving speed by 20%. So 20% is the max that you can increase your moving speed. Oh, geez, that's a lot lower than I thought it was. But yeah, the game uh, does warn too. you when you go to add your chips in. Um, yeah. But I only yeah, think I, I only I just think equipped... movement speed moves it by you. Know, it gives you like five percent or plus two percent or yeah. oh, so it doesn't. I don't know you... what a level one is or a level zero one is, but I have two level. I have two plus ones, and they're that move you by four percent, and they're diamonds. And then I have a moving yeah. speed plus three, which is a diamond, uh, at seven, and it increases speed by ten. So if you have two okay. like diamond plus threes you effectively, you know, can reach your max moving speed at 20%. Yeah, and sometimes it's worth putting two chips that are lower level to get you at your max speed rather than just one chip just because it'll take up more storage space. So again, it's really just... Exactly. It's a juggling number act. Um, so what I have is, if you notice, I've got a combust plus two, that's seven, and then I've got a combust plus one, that's nine and eight, and then I have one that's six up there. So you know what? If you have a higher chip and it is lower storage amount, just get rid of these like that's kind of the easiest way to tell if you have a, a lower chip and your higher chips or less storage space just get rid of those lower chips that have like too high a storage space so basically go through this is a great way to get money to fuse so you'll want to go through all of it and then I'm gonna go ahead and load up because I've already done this and I have a lot more chips and I'm gonna load up a uh, another save here that I have and this is going to then I can actually do a, a more clean run. I've already cleared out all most of the extra chips. There are a few. I kept some of the higher level ones that have a lot of storage space just because it's the only version of that chip I have. So I'm like, when I get something that can replace it, I'll get rid of it. But you only have so much, so many chips you can have in your inventory. And the game likes to not pick them up when you have max storage uh, for that. So sell your chips often. Go ahead and get rid of those high level chips. So those are the basic like A good rule of thumb is anything that's above like 10. 10, just get rid of it. If it doesn't have a diamond, uh, go ahead and sell it. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna actually do some fusing. And uh, there's a lot of quirks. You can fuse regular chips. The black diamond chips are really where it's at. If you get black diamond chips, uh, you could do you could fuse a lot of, of cool stuff and low level chips with them. So what I've got here is, uh, I'll come back to this, I'll explain to you a cool thing about black diamond chips. So I have two, just critical up, low, low, low storage space, two black diamond chips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fuse those, and now I have a critical plus one black diamond chip. And as long as you fuse black diamond chips with black diamond chips, you will always keep the black diamond status, and it will always give you the lowest amount of storage space. Now I've got just a regular critical up, plus one, but I got another critical up, plus one, that's eight storage space. Usually, if there's more than a storage space, like plus one difference in the storage space, you're not gonna get a really low storage space. If I had a, a something that was like seven or another six, I could keep this low and it would only go up by one. At higher levels, it goes up by two, sometimes three exponentially. So if you always infuse chips with a like, storage space, you'll try and keep the storage space down, even when they're not black diamond. So if I had a six, it would go up seven. If I had a one that was seven storage space, then it would probably still only be seven. Don't forget the bonus when you fuse uh, odd numbers. Getting getting to that, we'll talk about the black sorry, diamond chips sorry. in a bit. Okay, so, and then it'll also let you know, see it's got a little black mark here, that means that I have it fused. I don't really want to mess with that right now because then I have to go back into all of my um, 
my chipsets and re-put in my new chip, so I'm not messing with that right now. So we've got a Shockwave plus one, a Shockwave plus one, these are both black diamond chips, we can fuse them, and ta-da, I've now got another plus two black diamond chip, so I can keep going. So I can take those and fuse those. Now I've got a plus three, and because I already had a plus three black diamond chip, we can just keep going with this. And now we've got plus four black diamond chips, so let's fuse those. And we're left with a uh, shockwave plus five black diamond at 11 storage. That is the lowest amount of storage you can get for that chip at plus five. Now I'm gonna, I'll show you a cool thing with black diamond chips. These are a little tricky. Black diamond chips can fuse with non-black diamond chips on odd numbers and there can only be plus one difference in the storage space. So you see I have a counter plus one black diamond at five storage. I have counter plus one with six storage. That's a one point difference between them. So if I, okay, and you actually, so I don't confuse you guys, there are two, there are already two uh, plus two black diamonds, so we'll ha we should have a third when I do this. So if I click this, and then I grab the, the plus one with the six storage, I now have the black diamond, it will carry over. However, I can't do it on even numbers. If I try and pull the same move with an even number, the black diamond will disappear and I'll just have a regular chip. So you can only do it on odds. Zero, one, three, so on and so forth. You can always do it on odd numbers, but there has to be a one point storage difference between the two. You can't do it. I couldn't have done that if there was like, you know, I had a, a five storage and then like an eight storage because then it'll just, it'll negate it. It'll, you can use black diamonds to drop the storage space amount, even if you lose your black diamond status. So if you have a high chip and you have also a black diamond of that chip, you can fuse uh, it with the higher level um, or a higher storage space chip of the same value to drop that number down, but it's really not worth it, especially, so you, you should have gone through and gotten rid of a lot of the high level chips because you don't want to take up storage space. You got limited storage space, you want to use all these cool chips. So, so I've got that. So here, I'll show you the difference between the two. So at, this is, that was pretty low amount for storage space. So I have a plus three counter with eight storage space. However, I do have black diamond chips and they only have six storage space. So if I use those, now I've got a plus three black diamond, that's seven storage, that's the lowest amount of storage. And you can see the difference, even if there's always like, you're always up one or two more, even if you get the lowest amount for regular chips. So black diamond chips are really what you want to invest in or keep at all times, just so that you can get the, the optimal amount of fusing. So I think, I mean, that's really kind of like the basics. So you're playing a numbers game Fuse chips, try and keep your storage space low. You can use the black diamond, um, you know, just merging them together or, you know, using the little trick of doing it on odds. So even if you don't, if you need, if you have a higher level black diamond chip, uh, that's like say at, at two, but you've only got a black diamond chip that's got, that's just a count, like say it was a counter with no plus number after it, you can fuse other chips to get it up there so you'll have two uh, like counter plus two black diamonds so you can play around with it um, don't be afraid to to get a whole bunch start fusing realize oh crap I gotta go back out and farm come back and fuse this again so it's really just it's it's a little tedious but the it, once you start doing it it starts making a lot more sense but that's like the basics for doing the fusing and playing around with black diamonds. Now the last thing I'll show you is at the resistance camp this lady will only fuse your chips until they're plus six. Once they're plus six she won't be able to see them anymore so you'll you'll have all these other chips and you'll be like I thought I had a plus six. Well you can't see them in her inventory. Once once as far as she's concerned plus six is the, the highest amount uh, a chip can go. However if you do I think it's the Lord of the Valley quest um, and I'll, I'll show you. Let's go from the forest zone. Center. I didn't realize he was tied to a quest. Yes. In order for to unlock his shop, you do have to do the Lord of the Valley quest. Um, so if 
Oh, if that's the one where you have to go and kill all those enemies. Yeah, down yeah, in yeah. The yeah. The, uh, yeah. the dying, really strong robot. He is like level. Oh my 50. god, dude, that dude looks so badass. I, I remember know. him. <laughs> he is dude, level he had 50. Spears and swords sticking out of him <laughs> and threw him. Oh, he looked so fucking dope, man. I know. He was okay. He was the near automata equivalent of Red Maw from fucking Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay, <laughs> he was like, I'm badass and I know it. Nothing can kill me. Let me make sure that I. And then you had to kill him. It was kind of depressing now that I think about it. Plug-in chips. Okay, I still have my farming one set. So. Wait, that's all I want to put. Went down too far. Okay, so this guy's. Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, uh, honestly, Ryu, I think the easiest way to get to him is uh, transporting to the forest castle front. No, I I don't mind doing this. It's fine. He's just right okay. down here. You can you can do that too if you want to like fly all the way down, but it's fine. We're here. Um, so this guy is attached to the Lord of the Valley. If you manage to go down um, underneath the bridge that leads to the little shopping mall district. Uh, you'll find like a cave. Oh, you're gonna show them the path? Okay. And you can go down there. Um, but the, the easiest way is just to follow this. And you can just float down with your pod. And you can come back up. There is a path all the way back up. But Well, we there's just... a path like from the top to an elevator about halfway down, and then yeah. you take the elevator down to the bottom. Yeah, you can go but that yeah, way. Yeah, like you can get back up from there. But it's not way, terribly difficult. You can push in this box, and this opens up a shortcut here. So what I've got is, you got this little robot here. He'll give you the Lord of the Valley quest, and basically all you have to do is go through there. There's like, a, you go all the way to the end where this lives, like this pond, and you fight this robot. It's level 50, so you do need to basically uh, be leveled up and have some good weapons to fight this thing. It's one of the big, uh, tall guys with the uh, spinny hands. So Yeah, the, the, the ones who invert themselves, like they yes. have the giant fists, or they can turn their fists into the legs. Yeah, they, this guy, they got this they got a little a big dude guy. on both arms. And he has a high health pool, so you're gonna be fighting up for a little bit. Mm, yeah. So and he doesn't hit he doesn't attack very often, but when he does, he hits hard. He does hit hard. So he's he's basically a souped up version, even though he looks like he's on his last leg. So this little guy, once you do that quest, you'll come back to him and he'll be like, Oh hey, thank you for all of that. Now, any of your plus six chips, you can take them to max level now. He's basically the Masamune of chip fusing. So where Masamune is the only one that can take your weapons to level four, this guy's the only one that can take your chips up to level eight. And level eight is the maximum for chips. So plus eight, that's it. That's your cap. So from plus six, plus sevens, plus eights, this guy will fuse everything. I only think... He'll fuse all the other chips too, so you could just come to him if you wanted to do all this, but I think I've got... Maybe I have a plus six somewhere. <laughs> Actually, let's try and fuse a few chips first so we can... Oh, actually, I'll show you this real quick. So you see, you got, we got plus two diamond chip. We got a plus two nine. If I do that... Nope. It's gone. My plus three diamond chip's still here, but ain't got ain't got another one. It just disappears. It gave me a plus three with the lower storage space. But this that I can do, actually. So we got five. I don't know if I've got I think I've got like a couple that I could take all the way to six. It's it's a long road of fusion <laughs> to get to get up to a plus six area, let alone get a couple up there. So, mm -hmm. basically, this guy, if you if you decide to go the long road of fusing and fusing and getting chips up so you have a couple of plus sixes, if, if you can get black diamond plus sixes, more power to you, and you want to fuse them a little higher, this guy will do it. Uh, personally, I feel like once you hit past plus four, maybe plus five, the storage base amount that it asks you to, like, that you can have at minimum is really not worth it, and just having a slightly lo lower level chip so you can have a few other cool chips in there is really worth it, unless you want to start taking out the, um, like, your your fishing guide one or your mini-map oh, uh, uh, or any of those. <laughs> quick comment, the... The valley, this bottom of this canyon where you have, you do this quest, is a really good place to get weapon attack up chips. 
Oh yeah, actually this is a good farming spot for that if you ever wanted to, to get down there. It's, um, it's easier this way because uh, it's a little tricky getting back up through the elevator and then doing the jumps to get up to the bridge yeah, it's, where it's it's, it's, it's right at the it's at that ravine morning. where you cross that bridge to the shopping mall area before you enter the forest so this is actually a little easier i think especially climbing back up because this path is actually much easier uh and it leads all the way back up you just have to do a little bit of jumping but there's a path all the way back up there but that pretty much covers uh all of chip fusing again it's a numbers game follow the link look at the chart it'll break it down for you it'll let you know for storage space so you'll know if you're getting a little too high for what that chip should be um you know sell the ones that you don't need make some money best way and then just have fun have fun playing around and in uh fusing them in play around with uh having a few uh different sets I don't have my C set set up in this safe, but, um, you know, I have my farming one, and then I have my attack one, and then on um, one of my other saves, I've got one that's set up for just hacking and, and stuff, so it's, like, best for 9S if you like playing as him. So I think that's it, and, uh... There's also, uh, two chests over here, too, at the end of this canyon. Oh, yeah, there is. There is a couple chests. You can one of them is a regular chest, uh, if I remember correctly, and the other one you... You're required to have B9s because you have to hack it. Oh, yeah, there's a hacking chest in there. But anyway, a, t a video for another day. That's all the, for the chip fusion tutorial. Yeah, just, just um, wanted to mention it. Hopefully, this was a little more succinct than our last one because we actually understood what we were doing this time. But anyway, um, I think that's all. So thanks for joining us, everybody. And uh, this mm -hmm. is for you and Loki Flash Hawkeye signing out. And we'll see you in the next video. Farewell, viewers. Bye-bye.